the family is a very beleaguered institution this, these days. It's under attack from a number of fronts. There's a lot of work to do in rebuilding it. But let's start by just uh, trying to trace what went wrong. Is it, uh, is it a failure of policy? Is it a failure? Is it a, a transformation of the culture? I think if we can identify what went wrong, we might be able to focus on where is the place that things need to be fixed or reformed. Yes, absolutely. And thank you again so much for having me. And I've been reading you since I was with the kid and uh, I've seen all your movies, and uh, it's a real honor to be here. The American family really didn't start to become under attack uh, by progressives in our government and in politics uh, until the 20th century. Uh, there was a movement uh, called the Progressive Movement, and this is a really radical movement, and you understand this, but they want to progress beyond all barriers, all institutions, all all norms and laws, and they want to tear all down. and. The Marxists, when they came to America, they tried to start with the economic arguments of Marxism, but it didn't work because our neighbors were all doing better uh, and moving upward, and you could support a family off of one ink. Uh, so they decided to destroy the American family. And the, uh, ironically, the you know the Soviets were the ones to first uh, get rid of uh, marriage. They created a, a five-minute marriage dissolution. Uh, process where anyone could get divorced for any reason or no reason at all. It took five minutes and um, the Soviets did that first, but it didn't really work here in America. In America, we had very strong Christian roots and we were decentralized. And what happened was they had to start with birth control. Um, and even when uh, artificial birth control came on the scene, they had a very hard time legalizing it in America because at that point in time in the 1920s and 30s, Americans really thought of um, life and death as being decisions that God was in charge, of, not human beings. And so when they tried to mainstream uh, the birth control pill, people weren't adopting it because they didn't want to play God. Um, and then, you know, most of the problems that we have uh, around the family started in the courts. They were not popular movements to create no fault divorce. There were not popular movements to legalize contraception. And there were not popular movements to legalize abortion. They had to go through uh, the courts, which were captured by uh, progressives. And so they started with the pill, which essentially separated uh, the procreative act from procreation. And from there, uh, logically, it made sense that, well, marriage, since sex is no longer directly tied to childbearing and, and having children, well, then marriage is really just kind of a, uh, an access 